Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele and I am back with this super delicious corned beef jollof rice recipe that your entire family would love. Your neighbors will be wondering what is smelling so good. <laughs> to a pot, add in your corned beef. I'm using this one that I picked up off Amazon and it is in vegetable oil. I love the chunkiness of it. I'll leave the link in the description box or comment section for you to pick one up if you're interested, okay? To that, I'll add some chopped onions and we'll brown it beautifully like this. And as you can see, it gave off a lot of oil. So we're going to get our corned beef out of the oil and we would use that oil to make our stew. Yes, flavor upon flavor. So to the oil, I'll add in some onions and we'll fry it until nice and translucent, which will be about five minutes. To that, I'll add some habanero pepper and some of our homemade tomato paste. I made some grilled fish yesterday and so here i have the rest of the marinade that i used you may use your green marinade your spice blend cube or any marinade of your choice and i'll fry until everything melts beautifully then add in our homemade tomato sauce yes the frozen piece is also part of our homemade tomato sauce rinse out the bowl at that water give it a good stir Cover it up, bring it to a boil. Once it boils, allow it to boil for about 10 to 12 minutes and check it out. It is looking good. So at this point, I'm going to season it with some of our natural spice mix, all purpose seasoning and bay leaf. Give it a good stir and allow it to simmer for about eight minutes on medium heat okay and we are back our stew is almost done so i'll season it up with some curry powder and to wake the flavors up i added in some coconut oil let me tell you coconut oil always takes my dishes to the next level and what i just shared is my favorite brand i pick it up from Costco, okay? I also seasoned it with a bit of salt cover and allow it simmer for an additional six to eight minutes. And at this point, we'll set part of the stew aside before adding in our rice. This is very important because if the stew is too much, your rice will end up being mushy. You're not really going to enjoy it. I then added in our washed jasmine rice. Stir everything together until each grain is well coated with some of our stew and it has absorbed it in like this. Cover for about two to four minutes. Come back, stir and repeat the process for about four minutes times this would help your rice come out single grain and it'll cook faster once you've added water in ensure that you do this on medium low heat in this way it doesn't burn okay and it is also important using this method when using a non-stick pot it helps you out a lot try it come back and testify or oh, let me know how it worked out for you at this point i add in some hot water give it a quick stir cover with parchment paper and then the lid as you noticed i added the water to the same level of the rice because the rice is almost cooked at this point i'm checking on it again and it is almost done but i check on it because if it was a regular pot i'll let it be for about 15 minutes and it'll be done but because it's a non-stick you want to come back and check on it and stir to ensure that it is not burning we'll add in our veggies and today i'm using carrots string beans and then we'll go ahead and add in our corned beef cover it up and allow it cook for about five minutes or however long it takes for your vegetables to be ready i am going for just 
five minutes because I don't want to overcook my veggies and our rice would be ready okay now let's check on our rice to see what it is looking like as you can see our veggies are looking good they're done i add in some onions for the freshness give it a stir about two to three minutes before turning this fire off if you want the bottom part the caramelized bottom part like this you want to turn the fire up okay so that you will get it not for too long though otherwise it'll burn so we'll set this aside for the sweetie tin tins team cover this up and continue with the sweetie tin tins because plantain is about to go down for this recipe so i'll peel cut season with some salt and fry it all right today's special twos goes to ahima nana and fatima mohammed from Kasua, Ghana. Thank you for always watching and engaging in my videos. International food cutting. Who show you how to make pizza? Jala, mango, and okra soup. Just look at that. So we'll get this out onto a paper towel lined tray, set it aside, and put everything together, okay? the rice is ready i covered it up so that the residual heats will cook the onions just a little bit not too much because i still want some crunch to it now all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy all are invited to enjoy this deliciousness with me if you've enjoyed me until now i do want to thank you so very much why not let me know where you're watching from and i'll give you a special too in our next recipe also share this with a friend or family member they may find it helpful until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys and happy easter y'all all this and more, sweet as Sending money any other way, Tap Tap Send is the way to go. Download it today and use our short code Sweet Team to get a $15 bonus when you send your first 50. So the person you're sending it to gets to get an extra $15 on us.